Hey everyone, it's Ryan Dobbs. Today we're going to talk about how to migrate a site on WordPress through a tool called Backup Buddy. Now there's a couple of reasons why you would need to migrate a site. Number one, we're rebranding, which is what I'm doing right now and why I'm showing you this video. But also, if something happened to your site, if you got hacked, if you had an error, something went wrong, I'm going to show you how to, one, do a backup, but two, to get your site up very quickly and to not miss out on any revenue. So we're going to start off here on RyanDobbs.net. This is just a business card site that I have that I point people to when it's quick and easy. And what we're going to do is we're going to click the back end and we're going to look at the tool called Backup Buddy. Now obviously you need to go to Backup Buddy and purchase this and you'll see a link later that uh, is an affiliate link of mine. And you know I'd appreciate it if you'd go through there if this was a value to you. But basically what Backup Buddy does is has two main functions. One, a full backup and two, you can migrate and restore a site using this software. Now, there's lots of other opportunities. There's a malware scan. There's actually storage that's built into Backup Buddy. There's lots of different things that you can do. Today, we're going to focus on the backup and the migrate because those are the two main functions. For more detailed information, iThemes at iThemes.com, BackupBuddy.com. There's lots of tools and, and resources, lots of tricks at iThemes Codex if you just search that in Google but let's go through a couple of the main features first things first we're gonna click on settings and you're gonna set a password um, go ahead and set one for repair buddy as well just in case um, that's when you need it but set it confirm it and then we're gonna skip through some of the the detailed parts here and we're just gonna save and continue now since I didn't have to put anything new I'm not gonna save I'm just gonna move on go ahead and click over here on backup and you'll see that there's a database backup and a complete backup. We're going to go ahead and click complete. Now, it's going to run through its paces here. You're going to see it turn all the way blue and then eventually green. And it'll give you an option to either export the file to an off-site location or you can download it to your desktop. The reason why I picked this site is because it's very small, it's very quick. Um, a lot of times this will be a lengthy process and you'll need to kind of adjust accordingly but right now we're going to go ahead and download and it's going to finish up what it does. Next we're going to click over here on migrate and restore. You're going to see a prompt right here that talks a little bit about everything but the main steps are right there in bullet points. We're going to download import buddy. It's going to ask us for our password that we just created and it's going to go ahead and continue that download. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to put import buddy and our backup onto the root file of our our new site that we're going to play with and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and then eventually we're going to run through the paces and it's going to show us exactly what to do as far as the import buddy side now a couple things that we need to do here first things first we're going to go back over to our cPanel and I run a reseller cPanel so if there's some things on here that you don't have on yours don't worry about it um, basically what that means is I have hosted some of the website designs that I've created for some clients and uh, I deal with their problems as well. First thing we're going to do though is we're going to go to my SQL databases and we're going to create a database and what we're going to call this is tutorial. Actually why don't we do this? We're going to call it Orion Tutorial. It has to be seven letters or less. That's why I did that, just so you know. Um, you can create whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're just going to create the database. When it says we've done it, we're going to go back, and we're going to scroll down here, and we're going to create a user. And we're just going to do the exact same thing. Again, any kind of password you want, any kind of name you want. I'm just doing this just for reference sake. It's going to show us that it worked we're going to go back and then there's one more thing that we're going to do here and we're going to combine the two so here's Ryan tutorial Ryan tutorial and we're going to add we want to go ahead and say all privileges because we want all of our opportunities there and we're going to make changes so we're good now I'm going to show you how to do this through file manager it's recommended that you use an FTP software like FileZilla, um, any of the other millions of things that are out there and available. I'm going to do this just to make it quick, clean, and easy, but 
it is probably recommended that we do that for a larger file. If you're doing a new domain or something that is very small, this works fine. Usually what I do is it's a, a starter website, so we're going to get in here and, and find it. So we're going to scroll down here and we're going to look for Ryan Dobbs Group. This was actually a site for uh, part of my real estate that I was doing and uh, it's not doing anything for me right now so I'm going to show you how it's done. Now this is your root file, it's a public HTML, this is what's in there. Uh, we're going to upload and we're going to choose our backup files. Now, there's my pretty pictures, isn't that cute? And two things that we're going to find are import buddy and it's going to go ahead and take care of business and we're also going to find our backup and right here we've got a couple of them that I've done just because I, I actually messed up a couple times on the video how's that for transparency and uh, we're gonna go ahead and let that go alright so down here we've got two complete files so we're gonna go back here to our file manager and I'm just gonna show you that it's actually in there I'm gonna scroll back down again we're gonna find our Ryan Dobbs group and bang what do you know import buddy and there you go so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull up ryandobsgroup.com slash importbuddy.php and if we did this right when it pulls up it's gonna show us a couple different things bang Number one, put in your password, authenticate. As it goes through, it's going to recognize our upload. Perfect. We're just going to go ahead and next step. See, a lot of this stuff is done for you, so you really don't have to worry about anything. It's already done, extracted. Go next step. Okay. Yes, that's where we want to put it. We don't want to change it. Now, down here, you are going to have to maneuver this just a little bit. I just add another W right there because the prefix needs to have something that doesn't have WordPress already associated with it. The previous already does. We're going to go ahead and change and then next step. Initial database complete. We're going to keep going. It's going to ask you to clean up the file and basically what this is doing is it's getting rid of a lot of the code and back-end work that you won't use that will bog down the site later so we're gonna go ahead and automatically do so and here we are we're gonna go to Ryan Dobbs group it's gonna show us exactly what's going on and bang there you go so if you click back over here ryandobbs.net the exact same things let's go to about just to show you there's your about if we click back over here to Ryan Dobbs group, we click about, there is a complete copy. So it's really just that easy, but when we talk about Backup Buddy, this is one of those tools that I don't go without. I mean, seriously guys, you will have something happen eventually. We do automatic backups every week because I post daily, so that's a lot of information and we send it to Amazon S3 it doesn't load on my computer at all I can get it from anywhere I can update it anywhere if I need to migrate or, or even worse restore it will actually go through the whole repair process and help you in everything you need but until then this is Ryan Dobbs thank you have a great day and go do something awesome